Hey guys, welcome back to Yu-Gi-Oh! Legacy of the Duelist. And today we're going to be hopping back into our campaign mode and taking on uh, Weevil Underwood as Yami Yugi and the Ultimate Great Moth. Let's hop right into it. Infinite's going to tell us the story. After his win against Saito Kaiba, Yugi was puzzled to receive a package from Maximilian Pegasus, the creator of Duel Monsters. Inside the box was a videotape. Yugi inserted the tape into the VCR and Pegasus' face popped up on the TV screen. That's creepy as fuck, man. <laughs> Greetings, little Yugi. Yugi boy. <laughs> Pegasus is amazing. What a man. His wife is dead. I've heard some terribly interesting things about you. Your impressive defeat of Seto Kaiba intrigued me so much so that I've decided to investigate your amazing dueling skills personally. Right here and now, we will hold a special duel. Oh, God. Suddenly, strange and arcane magic froze time so that no one could move except for Yugi. This dark dimension we're in is known as the Shadow Realm, a mystical place where incredible monsters can be summoned and the impossible is quite possible. Tell me, Yugi boy, do you believe there is magic in these cards? Don't you know? You invented this game! <laughs> My Yami voice needs some work. What if I told you I didn't? Huh? In ancient times, the Egyptians called this the Shadow Game. Powerful pharaohs! like Yami, would hold mystical duels in other dimensions, just as we're doing now. <laughs> Sorry about that, guys. Just had to cut for a second. All right. It's a good story, but these monsters can't be real. These monsters are very real and also quite dangerous. Yugi boy, you really are quite entertaining. The way you scowl and sneer, so defiant and yet helpless, and so completely ignorant of the power of your Millennium Puzzle. Yuki looked down at the Millennium Puzzle that he wore around his neck. Yeah, he did. Look at that ice. <laughs> the power of my puzzle? 5,000 years ago, a powerful pharaoh, Yami, locked the magic of the Shadow Games away in the seven mystical Millennium Items. Seven items. So that my puzzle's one of them? Alright. So from left to right, in circle of order, you have the necklace, the eye, which Pegasus has, the scale, the Millennium Ankh, uh, it's either Ankh or Key, it's probably Ankh, uh, the Millennium Ring, the Millennium Rod, and you use the Millennium Puzzle in the middle. Yes, and there are mystical energies locked within it, magic that could change your life forever if you only knew how to unleash it. As the two dueled, it seemed that Pegasus knew every move Yugi was going to make before he did. Despite his disadvantage, Yugi mustered all his skills and nearly won. But Yuki ran out of time when the time limit passed. Oh. I've taken measure of your talents to stay a Yugi boy. And when next we do, we shall play for far higher stakes. I'm done with your games! You presume I'm giving you a choice in the matter, but I'm not. For I also possess one of the seven Millennium Items. The all powerful Millennium Eye. Probably one of the stronger Millennium Items, actually. A Millennium Eye? That's right, Yugi boy. I'll show you the true extent of its magic. I have found that given the proper incentive, anyone can be made to play my game. The power of the Millennium Eye lashed out and sold Dad's soul. Daddy, <laughs> Daddy Moto's soul. Yugi could only watch in horror. Yugi! Dad! <laughs> we will duel again, Yugi boy. How else will you ever reclaim your father's soul? Yugi had no choice but to complete... Com complete. Oh my god. Compete in Pegasus's Pegasus's. Oh my god. I hate that. I hate that so much. <laughs> just take out the second S. You don't need it. You already have an S at the end of your name. Just put the apostrophe. Ah! Ah! <sighs> okay. Duelist Kingdom Tournament so that he could get his grandfather's soul back. At Duelist Kingdom, each duelist was given two star chips which they could wager against other duelists on the island. Whoever earned 10 star chips gained entry into the tournament finals, or they would compete for the 3 million grand prize. And the chance to duel Pegasus himself, that's bank, man. For his first duel, Yugi faced off against the conniving Weevil Underwood, a duelist with whom he had a bit of history. While riding a, the boat to Duelist Kingdom, Weevil took Yugi's precious Exodia cards and threw them into the ocean. So when Yugi spied Weevil on the island, he chased after him into the woods. Welcome, said the spider to the fly. You flew right into my trap. God, hurts my voice. It's time you answer for destroying my Exodia cards, Weevil. Can you let bygones be bygones? <laughs> God. 
Wave off. It's time to find out if you're as good at stooling as you, as you are at running away. Was I simply running away? A clever way leaving you to my whip! It's time to duel! Okay. Story deck time. Tore apart. Tuner monster. Not gonna explain synchro summoning right now. We'll get to that real when we reach it. That's gonna be for a while, though. You'll see. Alright, we was gonna choose to go second. Okay. Tango mode round. One round. Alright, let's do it. Let's see what deck we're running this time. Karibo, Vrukaiser, Giant Soldier, Graceful Charity, good. So we don't have Exilia in this deck, which fits with the story. We have a fusion deck this time. Guy the Dragon Champion. Oh, yes. Classic UV card. So, actually, in the duel in the anime, Yugi beats him with Guy the Dragon Champion. So, so this is a fusion monster. You see, it has a purple uh, purple icon, same thing as normal monster level, attack, defense, attribute, uh, uh, type. Except it says fusion. Now. And it's purple. Good color for a fusion monster, I guess. So, fusion monster can only be created by using polymerization or, or any other fusion spell card. Or trap card, I guess. Uh, and this fusion monster, and it lists what materials you need to create. So this one is Cur Guy of the Fierce Knight and Curse of Dragon. It's one of the better fusion monsters in the original Yu-Gi-Oh! series. So we're going to Graceful Charity, draw three cards, discard two. Uh, oh, look at that. We're going to discard one of our Curse of Dragons. We already pulled polymerization. That's great. Uh, and we're going to discard uh, Mammoth Graveyard. We're not going to use that. Now we're going to set our Giant Soldier of Stone. The plan is to summon Root Kaiser next turn. Creepo is really good too. During your opponent's turn at damage calculation, you can discard this card. You take no, no battle damage from that battle. This is a quick effect. So I can activate that uh, anytime I really need to. It's really good. Really helpful. I, I like how the background changed. Now, Terraforming as his field spell. He's going to get that forest field spell. Uh, we, 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 okay. If I tongue. I'm going to speak quieter. Not quieter, sorry, slower. I've been like speaking like hyperdrive all day, man. It's not okay. Cool, we have our own field spell, Wasteland. Creates the attack and defense of all dinosaur, zombie, and rock type monsters by 200 points. Now my uh, dude isn't really gonna get hurt. Okay, so I'm gonna use B uh, Weevil's Forest against him and summon my Rude Kaiser uh, by tribute summoning my Dragon Soldier of Stone. And we're gonna have 2000 attack. Now I can attack, sadly, because of that giant of Swords of Revealing Light out. Uh, but after two more turns, I should be able to attack freely. Yeah, so Weevil uses an insect deck. That's why. Oh, he set another field spell face down. Why would you do that, man? He's wasted all that time. Monster Reincarnation. Discard one card and target one monster in your graveyard added to your hand. Not necessary right now. I kind of want to keep my hand. Uh, not going to do anything this turn. Oh, no, he did that, so I lost the buff on Rude Kaiser. Okay, smart boy, smart boy. Yes, Weeble uses an insect deck. Uh, it's really uh, common for uh, people in like the, in the older Yu-Gi-Oh! series to use a deck. Oh, my God. Man-eater bug. It's going to take out my... Uh... Yep, and now he's going to activate the force. Good move, Weeble. Okay. Okay. All right. I get it. I get it. I get it. I get it. All right, I'm going to activate... Kribo, so I don't take damage from that howling insect. Um, so he used an insect deck. Uh, in the in the in the original Yu-Gi-Oh and in GX, sort of kinda. Uh, you see people using uh using decks based around uh types of monsters. So like somebody would have a dragon deck, somebody would have a beast deck, somebody would have an insect deck, somebody would have like a fish uh, water deck. Uh, there's themes to decks. In newer Yu-Gi-Oh, there's there's archetypes of cards. Uh, my favorite archetype is uh, Koaki Meru. Uh, it's really good. You have to have like a certain spell. Uh, it's Iron Core Koaki Meru. Like revolves around that. It's really good. I enjoy it uh, thoroughly. I enjoy playing it. Um, the main the main protagonist of GX, Jaden Yuki, uh, he uses a hero archetype deck. Uh, Astro Phoenix uses uh, Destiny Heroes. He uses uh, Elemental Heroes. I'm gonna play while I'm talking too. I'm gonna set this Grifor so that it can't really do shit to me. Uh, my Valentine, who will do in this episode too. Now I can attack. Cool. Uh, she uses uh, a Wing Beast art attribute. She focuses on Harpies though, so she kind of has an archetype going. She has the Harpy uh, archetype going for. Her. Um, but it's really common to see that now uh, in Yu-Gi-Oh. 
see archetypes rather than uh, types or attributes. Like, no one really runs like a fire or water deck anymore. That's kind of like an antiquated uh, style of dueling. It's not really good considering like there's so many, uh, so many like archetype specific cards now. It's it's just it's better to just um, it's better to just run uh, run an archetype that you enjoy playing or that's popular. I guess if you want to win or just just you know forego having fun. You know like people who play Duel Links, which is a mobile game. On, okay, on Duel Links, if you really want to get into Yu-Gi-Oh. Uh, I would I would recommend Duel Links. I'm not going to destroy his Howling Insect because of its effect. Check out that uh, big insect. Wabaku. Okay, fun, fun, fun. Um, I would recommend Duel Links. Uh, really quick speed duels. Different rules from the uh, from the full card game. There's three three monsters. What are you doing? Was that Hercules? Uh, well, we'll see what it is when I attack it. I'm not going to attack that one. I, he just tribute summon a monster. It's probably going to be a big boy. Um, hopefully I pull Gaia soon so I can uh, fusion summon uh, Dragon Champion. But uh, Duel Links is really good. Free app. Uh, been around for a while. Synchro Summoning has been introduced. It's 5D's update. Came out in September of this year. Actually, you know, you guys will be watching this in the new year. September of last year. Um, so, new main box just got introduced. So, if you want to hop on that, get some new cards. You get in, you get like a, you get like 10,000 gems, which is the currency for the game. So uh, I would hop on that as quick as you can, uh, so you can get ahead of the curve on the dueling. So we're gonna keep on playing this duel. Man, you're bug again. You're gonna take out my cursed dragon. Yep. That's fun, fun, fun for the whole family, isn't it? All right. I hate Weevil's deck. It's just so annoying. Oh gosh, uh, my hand isn't good right now, and he has another howling insect up. So he's gonna, so he's gonna, um, oh, God, Hercules beetle. Oh my God. Oh. Uh, okay, I'm gonna creepo this. No, I should have waited on that. Oh my God, man. I'm not playing well right now. I need, I, I need a really good monster. I need, I need to draw a good monster, man. Come on, Mirror Force, perfect. That's gonna help me. That'll work. That'll work. That'll work. Oh, attack position monster your opponent controls. It's probably going to flip that monster. That face down, face up. Yep, Cocoon of Evolutions. What he needs for uh, his his ace, which is uh, Ultimate Greek Moth. Uh, how that works is uh, you attach it to another weak monster, Petite Moth. Uh, you probably special summon Petite Moth in defense position. Uh, equip it. It gains 2,000 defense. And then you have to wait a certain amount of turns. Perfect Mystical Elf. Really good. 2,000 effects. Look, it's one of those really good cards. What, really good four four stars. Um, you have a team moth. You equip with you. Well, stop. <laughs> you equip with Cocoon of Evolution, and wait a couple of turns. Ooh, Makiu, the mystical uh, magical mist. If I had summon skull, this would be great. Sword monsters. Your opponent controls with defense lesser than you to cannot conduct a battle phase. Good, good card. Uh, I have Mystical Elf out, so I'm pretty much safe for a few turns. I can't attack because he has Swords of Revealing Light out. Um, Graceful Charity from Weevil. And then discard two. Didn't play anything. Burning Land. Excellent. Um, I don't think I'm going to do this now. Considering that I have less uh, life points than Weevil, I'm not going to use this now. But... Uh, once I get something going for myself, I will definitely play Burning Land and take out, take out that forest and my wasteland. Uh, yep. So, oh, what did he just, whoa. What was that, like, ripple effect? What, whoa. Horn of the Unicorn, great equip spell. Um, if I could use it on something, hopefully I can pull, like, Gazelle or something. I think he has Gazelle in this deck. It's Gazelle, King of Mystical. Okay, another good archetype. Um, Phantom Beast. There's uh, there's Phantom Beast, normal Phantom. Oh, excellent, 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 excellent. Monster Reborn. Uh, bring back my Curse of Dragon. Great. And actually, I'm gonna equip my Curse of Dragon with Horn of the Unicorn. Uh, yep. Perfect. And now, no. No, I won't risk it. I don't know what that face down is, but I'm going to attack it anyway. It's basic insect. Excellent. That's cool. Okay. 
yeah, like I was saying, Phantom Beast, good archetype. Uh, if you want to play like some solid high level beatdown monsters, play Curse of, uh, play Phantom Beast. You also have another archetype called Mecha Phantom Beast, which is all machine type monsters. Phantom Beasts are all beast type, of course, Phantom Beasts. Um, and Gazelle, King of Mystical Beasts, counts as the Phantom Beast monster. There's only four of, the, uh, there's five. Gazelle counts as one. There's Thunder Pegasus, uh, which is high defense. Uh, there's Crosswing, which uh, has a good graveyard effect. Uh, there's Wild Horn, I think. And then there's Rockledge, which is a seven star, which is really, it's a really good seven star monster. Um, so if you ever want to play like a really good uh, archetype that, that they expanded on in uh, newer Yu-Gi-Oh! Play Phantom Beast. And Mecha Phantom Beast has a Synchro. And I think they have an XYZ too. So, so if you want to play like a really, really new deck, you can play Mecha Phantom Beast. Because they use like tokens and everything and tribute summoning and special summoning. It's a really unique archetype, actually. I enjoy it. Not, not, doesn't mean that you guys have to, but I do. Okay, we're going to tribute summon. We're going to sacrifice our Sangam. To summon summon skull so now we have free use of makiyu um and what are we going to add we're going to add a 1500 or lower let's see strongest monster we have right now that's one of these two all right let's get wing dragon guardian of the fortress one another thing you see that this card says wing dragon guardian of the fortress number one if it was number two it would be a five star and have higher attack and defense that's weird and that's a common trope in uh in order in older Yu-Gi-Oh. Okay, now I'm going to activate uh, Burning Land. So, whatever buffs I had just disappeared. That's fine, though. Uh, we're going to attack. Hopefully, it's not Maneater. Good big insect. And I'm going to... 2,700 right to Weevil's ugly face. Ugly boy. Ugly. Okay, great. He's, he's going to come down to even playing cool to me this turn. He's going to take 500 from Burning Land. Great, 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 great. I've got this duel in the bag, pretty much. Graceful Charity. I'm not sure what he's going to do with that. He's going to probably set him on. So he just discarded perfectly ultimate Great Moth. Or just Great Moth, I think. Uh, yeah, but Great Moth can be summoned after four turns of Cocoon of Evolution. Um, it's time. Polymerization. You can summon one fusion monster from your extra deck. And here we go. So I'm going to tribute my Curse of Dragon and Guy the Fierce Knight. Watch this animation. Here we go. And summon. That's a nice animation, man. Guy of the Dragon Champion. Excellent. 2600 attack, 2100 defense. Nice, solid card. Corner of the Unicorn, X Effect, takes it right back to the top of my deck. Great, great card. Alright, we're gonna summon Wing Dragon, Guardian of the Fortress number one. And we're just gonna uh, run this nigga's cheeks. <laughs> <laughs> I haven't said that in a while. Sorry about the um the use of uh late N word. Apologize for that. Uh Alright. And next turn Weevil dies. Weevil loses. Yeah, it's perfect actually, perfect. And Weevil loses and three, two, one. Bye bye. We just won. Your opponent's life points have been reduced to zero. We won. Nice. Good win, guys. Good win. Alright. It's over. I've won. No impossible. I lost the voice. No, impossible! My moth is unbeatable! Alright, new card award. Amulet of Ambition. Laser Cannon Art, good. Howling Insect, good. Good for an insect deck. Yeah, so let me guys know, so let me know you guys what kind of uh, archetypes you want to see me use if you guys play Yu-Gi-Oh! Or, uh, what kind of, what attribute or type, what kind of deck you want to see me do. Uh, I currently have a decent amount of cards. I can make a decent Harpy deck with it. And what this game does, when you beat certain duels, you get deck recipes uh, that you can use if you have a certain amount of cards. But a lot of the deck recipes have banned cards, so you can't really use them. But they give you good ideas for, for decks. So we're going to play this, and let's check out how we are on time. We're pretty good on time. Um, Are we? Currently at 19. Uh, okay, I'm going to wrap this episode up here. I don't want to hold you guys for too long. I'm going to, I'm going to try and keep these episodes down to... Uh, I'm going to try and keep all my episodes down to like 20, 25 minutes. So, let's do our card packs. Uh, let's see. Where should we pull from? Where should we pull from? I have enough. No, I don't have enough to pull from my 10 times. Uh, let's pull from Grandpa. Let's go with Grandpa again. See if we pull something new. Bite Shoes. Elf Slide. Slate Warrior. Good card. Command Knight. I haven't seen Command Knight. Exodia Necross. Another rare pull. Good. Good. Slate Warrior. Good card. Flip. Uh... Not really a good card to use a flip effect with, but 1900 attack. Come on. Command Knight. 
all warrior type monsters you control gain 400 attack good uh if you control another monster monsters your opponent controls cannot target this card for an attack good card all right yeah, we're gonna go 10 on this one uh card pooling is probably one of the better uh attributes of Yu-Gi-Oh. hourglass of life okay cool dark hole good uh honey honey again vishwa rondi uh okay yeah card pooling is probably one of like the best uh attributes about Yu-Gi-Oh. uh i thoroughly enjoy card pooling just, just, just to see what you get thunderclap skywolf why is it so strong whoa a seven star if this card is special summoned from the graveyard you can destroy all face up monsters your opponent controls you cannot conduct your battle phase the turn you activate this effect whoa okay 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 megamorph while your lp is lower than your opponents you equip monsters to attack becomes double its original attack while your lp is higher it becomes half now yeah the megamorph is something that i don't like to use because uh because it has a downside you know uh not a great down oh shine palace good for light deck uh just really good for light deck 700 attack to a light monster destruction ring haven't seen this before destroy one face up monster on your side of the field to inflict 1000 points of damage to both players life points okay not bad there's a better card uh ring of destruction where you destroy and equip them uh and do damage equal to uh the monster's attack meteor of destruction stray lambs again skalangle good needle ceiling Let's go flip, draw one card, simple card, just put a face down, face up, draw a card, perfect. Meteor Destruction, if your opponent's life points are higher than 3,000, inflict 1,000 damage to your opponent, good card. Quick Damage Dealing Card, excellent. Mighty Guard, uh, this is a, sh wow, that was terrible. Okay, Dark Hole, 172 out of 265, see if we can max this out, actually, see if we can pull everything, hopefully we get some rare cards, I don't think, uh, I hope Blue Eyes is here. Slate Warrior again. I think we have a place of Slate Warriors now for my other draws that I did before I started recording the series. Uh, well, actually, no, I recorded it, but you know what happened to that? I guess the last episode. All right, Avatar of the Pot. Another pot of greed. Uh, another pot of greed. Uh, support card. By sending one pot of greed from your hand to the graveyard, draw three cards from your hand or deck. So instead of two, it's three. Unity again. Rescue Rabbit. Cannot be special summoned. Cannot be special summoned from the deck. You can banish this face-up card you control. Special summon two level four or lower normal monsters with the same name from your deck. That's pretty good. Destroy them during the end phase. Never mind. <laughs> Never mind. Raging Flame Sprite. Okay, for a fire deck. Uh, Ukazi, 800 points. Uh, really good. Okay. How are we doing? Uh, I'm not sure how many we had left. Oh, no. Th th this is the uh, fifth one. Rising Air Current. Good for wind deck. UFO Turtle. This is the fire, uh, shining angel and everything. Let's keep going. Let's see what we get. 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 Come on. Lucky trinket, dancing fairy again. Invader of darkness. Silent doom too. Trinket one normal monster in your greatest in your greatest special summon it and face up attack face up defense position, but cannot attack. Good if you want to get a quick tribute summon off. Invader of darkness. Your opponent cannot activate quick play spell cards. It's good for canceling out. Um, I guess. Uh, Super rush recklessly, stuff like that. Dark Elf, good card. DNA Surgery, good for a Buster Blader deck. Buster Blader is an archetype that relies on your opponent having all dragon types. So, by declaring one monster type on your field, all face of monsters on your field become that type. Make them all dragons. Dark Elf, good. Uh, 2000 attack, uh, but requires 1000 of your own life points. Downside to that. Still a good card. Uh, if you have good recovery out, of course. Divine Wrath, good counter spell. Wing Rhinos, didn't know that was here. Okay. When a monster effect is activated, discard one card and I get the activation. And if you do destroy the monster, good. Wing Rhinos, during either player's turn when a trap card is activated, you can return this face up card from the field to the hand. Win Beast Warrior type. Alright. Uh, we got one more after this one. So we're on number nine right now. Thunderclap Skywolf again. Contract with Exodia, perfect. If you have all five of Exodia pieces in the graveyard, special summon one Exodia Necros from your hand. It's not a ritual, it's just a spell card. That's good. Michizuri again, Ordeal of the Traveler. Um, good if you have like a shuffle deck. And last pull, the episode two we got. Make it good, make it good. Gus Fan, Lone Wolf, Lizard, Tremendous Fire, Anti Raigeki, Mind Golem, Ikabun. Um, if the attack of a monster summoned by your opponent is 500 points or less, the monster is destroyed. And Dust Tornado, good card. Target one spell trap card your opponent controls. Destroy that target. Then you can set one spell trap card from your hand. Excellent. Tremendous fire. Inflict 1,000 points of damage to your opponent. 500 to yourself. 
good utility. All right, so that's going to wrap up this episode of Legacy of the Duelist. I uh, hope you guys enjoyed. And the next episode, we'll be taking on Mai with Joey and uh, facing her Harpy deck. See if we don't get scratched. Uh, and if we can, we'll, if that duel goes quickly, yeah, that last duel lasted like 20-something uh, turns. That was a long duel. We can face Mako as Yami. Uh, so hope you guys enjoyed. Uh, if you did, leave a like comment uh down below tell me that you did and subscribe for more content share the video out with your friends it really helps me immensely and thank you for watching uh see you guys in the next video uh talk to you guys later ciao for now